Hello, I'm your friend Teacher Sam. I'm here to guide you on improving your fluency in English conversation. We all know English is a global language and being fluent in it can open a multitude of doors for you. Whether it's for professional growth, personal development, or simply to communicate more effectively, fluency in English is a valuable skill to possess. In this video, we will explore proven steps to enhance your English fluency. We'll delve into expanding your vocabulary, practicing listening and speaking skills, and honing your grammar and pronunciation. Each of these steps is crucial in their own right, and when combined, they form a powerful strategy to boost your English conversation skills. Remember, everyone can improve their English fluency with practice and the right techniques. So let's embark on this journey together and unlock the potential of fluent English conversation. First, you need to understand what fluency is all about. Fluency, in essence, is the ability to convey your thoughts, ideas, and emotions in a second language with ease and naturalness, much like you would in your native tongue. It's a crucial aspect of communication, as it not only enhances the clarity of your message, but also fosters a sense of connection and understanding with your listener. Now, there are some common misconceptions about fluency that we need to dispel. Some believe that fluency is about speaking rapidly or using complex language. However, that's far from the truth. The goal isn't to become a walking dictionary or a rapid-fire speaker. Instead, it's about being able to converse comfortably without constantly stumbling or searching for the right words. So remember this, fluency isn't about speed. It's about expressing yourself effectively and understanding others. One of the first steps to improving your fluency is expanding your vocabulary. Imagine your vocabulary as a toolbox. The more tools you have, the more tasks you can accomplish. Now, how does one go about this? First, consider reading extensively. Books, newspapers, magazines, online articles, you name it. They all hold the key to new words, phrases, and idioms. As you encounter unfamiliar terms, make it a point to look them up using a dictionary. But remember, it's not just about knowing the meaning. It's equally crucial to understand how these words are used in context. Another effective way is to learn words in context. This could be through conversations, movies, or TV shows. The goal is to understand how words interact with each other, how they fit into sentences, and how they can be used to convey different shades of meaning. Expanding your vocabulary will give you the tools to express yourself more accurately and confidently. Next, you should practice listening and speaking. This step is crucial to improving your English fluency. You see, language is not just about words and sentences. It's about rhythm, sound, and pace. Listening to native speakers can help you understand this musicality. Whether it's podcasts, movies, or conversations around you, immerse yourself in the language. Now, don't just listen passively. Engage with the language. Repeat after the speakers. Mimic their intonation and pronunciation. This active listening will help you internalize the language better. But listening is just half of the equation. Speaking regularly is equally important. Don't worry about making mistakes. They're part of the learning process. Speak with your friends, your teacher, or even talk to yourself in English. The key is to practice, practice, and practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you listen and speak, the more fluent you become. So, let's keep the conversation going, shall we? Grammar and pronunciation are also vital for fluency. These two elements form the backbone of any language, and English is no exception. They serve as the roadmap that guides us in constructing meaningful and coherent sentences. Let's start with grammar. Improving your grammar doesn't have to feel like a tedious school assignment. You can make it fun and engaging. One way to do this is by using grammar books. These books often contain exercises that allow you to apply what you've learned. They also provide explanations for grammar rules, which can help you understand why we use certain structures in English. Another way to improve your grammar is by watching videos in English. This could be anything from movies, television shows, to educational videos. The key here is to pay attention to how sentences are structured and how different tenses are used. Over time, you'll start to notice patterns and your understanding of English grammar will deepen. Now let's talk about pronunciation. Pronunciation is the way a word or a language is spoken. Good pronunciation is not just about being understood, it's also about understanding others. You can improve your pronunciation by listening to native speakers. Pay attention to how they pronounce words and try to mimic them. You can do this by watching movies, listening to podcasts, or even following along with an audiobook. Another effective way to practice pronunciation is by using tongue twisters. 
These are phrases that are difficult to pronounce quickly because of alliteration or a sequence of nearly similar sounds. They're a fun way to practice and improve your pronunciation. Lastly, don't forget to practice speaking out loud. This can be done by reading aloud from a book or having conversations in English. By doing so, you're not only practicing your pronunciation, but also your grammar. Remember, improving your grammar and pronunciation is a process. It takes time, patience, and a lot of practice. Don't be discouraged if you make mistakes. They're part of the learning process. Good grammar and clear pronunciation will make your speech more understandable and thus improve your fluency. So, keep practicing and don't give up. You're on the right path to mastering English conversation. To summarize, improving your English fluency involves expanding your vocabulary, practicing listening and speaking, and improving your grammar and pronunciation. We've journeyed through the path to better English fluency together, and I hope you've gathered a few nuggets of wisdom along the way. Let's take a brief stroll back through the steps we've explored. Firstly, expanding your vocabulary is a fundamental step. Like a painter with a palette of colors, the more words you have at your disposal, the more vivid and accurate your conversations can be. Make it a habit to learn new words every day. The world of language is a treasure trove, and every new word you learn is a gem added to your collection. Secondly, practice listening and speaking. It's like a dance where you learn to tune into the rhythm of English and respond to it. Remember, it's all about immersion. Surround yourself with English in all its forms, be it music, podcasts, films, or conversations. The more you listen and speak, the more natural it will become. Lastly, we delve into the realms of grammar and pronunciation. These are the rules and sounds that shape our speech. While they can seem daunting at first, with regular practice, they will become second nature to you. These steps are not linear, but rather they intertwine and support each other. The more words you learn, the better you understand what you hear. The more you listen and speak, the better your grammar and pronunciation become. It's a beautiful cycle of improvement. However, the journey to fluency is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's okay to stumble, to forget a word, or to get tangled up in grammar rules. What's important is that you keep going. Every mistake is a lesson. Every conversation is an opportunity to learn and grow. So, I encourage you to keep practicing, keep exploring, keep speaking. Each day, you're getting better, even if you don't see it immediately. Improving your English fluency will open up a world of opportunities for you. Keep practicing and you'll see improvement in no time.